Hello and good afternoon, everyone. This is Avais Ahmed. I'm a PhD candidate at the School of Computer Science and Engineering. I'm associated with the Distributed Storage and Computing Lab at the University of Electronic Science and Technology of China. Today, I will present our paper titled Prompt Engineering, a Healthcare Prompt Engineering Framework, which revolutionizes the healthcare application with the precision prompt. Here, the precision, context, uh, precision can be considered as a context aware prompts. I'm the Avais Samad and presenter, and the rest of the authors are Professor Dr. Hu Mengshu and the Dr. Shirui, Mr. Xiao Yang Zheng, and Dr. Sayyad Atiksha. This work is the enhancement and the realization of our previous work's limitation, which was on the med prompt, uh, a prompt engineering framework for the medicine prediction utilizing the clinical text notes. In that work, in the conclusion box, we realized that why only focus on the one medical application and why only focus on the one modality, that is the text modality. So um, on that, we tried to explore. And in this workshop paper, we actually explore, we, uh, explore the theoretical background of the prompt engineering in several healthcare applications. And then further, we realized some uh, experimental validations. Actually, a prompt is used to instruct the model to adopt the nature of a given prompt and which become a well adoptable approach in wide areas of domain. But existing prompt guided frameworks are experiencing various challenges, such as designing the prompts for a specific task. And this task is healthcare and healthcare is being uh, realizing some difficulties. So in this work, we emphasize the wide, wide ranging application healthcare. Uh, and by designing the precise prompts with the positive and the negative aspect where we hypothesize that the designing prompts in pairs, like uh, when, when I will give prompt to the model, whether this uh, chest X-ray has pneuma classification or not, whether this has something or not, or predict the medicine so for the patient. So in that case, I will prompt the a model with a positive prompt and also with a negative prompt. And we hypothesized this initially, and then uh, later on, it also proved that the uh, prompt pair actually helps model to realize or uh, generalize effectively. In addition, we explored the increasing demand for the prompts that, uh, that are aware of context in the multi-model multi data analysis. In this study, we utilize MIMIC-3 data set, MIMIC-3 corpus to the, predict the medicine predictions further. We also explore the visual and the textual prompts on X-ray images for pneuma uh, prediction in the MIMIC CXR. For both data set, uh, one must be the credential user and we, I am the credential user of the PhysioNet and uh, I have uh, legal access to that data set. So the challenge which we explore is leveraging the power of prompt engineering large language model for healthcare broader perspective applications. So the solution in this paper, we propose a framework where we develop some prompt designs. Uh, first, we propose an algorithm. Uh, with that help, we generate the prompts and then that prompts are being used in the prompt engineering framework. So the first uh, contribution is health, health aware prompt design. The second contribution is designing the prompt engineering framework. Third contribution is exploring the wide ranges application and the fourth uh, experimental validation. In this, we also explore the prompt optimization and the integration of prompt into the models for several medical tasks. Traditionally, a supervised learning model actually work on the input X and the, it gives the prediction Y. So it's, it, it has nothing to deal with the prompt. But in the prompt-based learning, the process involves transforming the original input text into a modified textual prompt, which we call X dash, and then try to fill the placeholder utilizing the language model probabilistically uh, to obtain the final mask, and which is X cap, from which we uh, get the desired output. And uh, according to the literature, there are two steps we can say: apply the template and the fill the slot. So. Give that two, equation two, three, and four, we can see this. And then the, so, uh, sorry, the text is, might be very uh, short for you to view, but actually this table is a comprehensive collection of different uh, task category, which can be uh, employed in this. And we uh, utilize two categories, like the medical diagnosis prediction, like treatment recommendation, 
predict patient triage, clinical trial, and so on, and up to the medicine prediction. And there is a concern like uh, designing a prompts by own and designing a prompt by GPT. And in this work, we also explore the consequences of designing prompts by our own and the, uh, designing the prompts by the GPT. Which one perform better and which one not perform better, we will learn it later on, we'll see it. So these are the categories. In this, we have the prompt text in two pairs. One is positive and the one is negative. Uh, such as example given that in, for image classification, we have this one given an X-ray image X predict the likelihood of Z. And in this case, we also will have the negative case also. Further, the diagnosis prediction, we also have the positive and the negative cases. And for treatment recommendation, we also have the positive and the negative cases. The, the essence of our methodology consists of two key factors. First is uh, covering the broader perspective areas, uh, theoretically big, um, developing the background, which involves the development of comprehensive theoretical background to understand the principles and applications of prompt engineering healthcare setting. While the second is using a set of prompts for instructing the model, aiming to enhance the model performance and the robustness. This is a, an example model architecture framework which is for the medicine prediction, but it can be adopted for any of the listed tasks previously. In this, we actually do nothing but the simple steps which uh, help us to complete the medicine prediction, such as first filter out the large data set, like uh, the MIMIC3 data set has millions of records. And then we short, uh, short it down and list shortlist the sum of the corpus for us, that is 36,000 records uh, and create a subset of the data. And we extract the features such as chief complaint, admission, pro, uh, admission of the uh, patient information and the summary of the patient, history of the patient and so on. And this is utilized as a prompt template. And then further we have a prompt the pairs of positive, prompt list positive and the prompt list negative cases, which we feed the model, in which we take as a prompt query and feed to the model. And here, the model could be the pre-trained model and model is also fine-tuned model. We utilize both techniques. First, we use the pre-trained model and then we fine-tune the model based on the, our data. And we use the encoder architecture and uh, we use BERT and clinical BERT models. The algorithm proposed is on the right side of the slide. The result which we uh, get use, utilizing the BERT and the clinical BERT is comparative evaluation of the ensemble measures of, uh, for the medicine prediction using the prompt with 500 records. And okay, here, although we have uh, lots of data, but uh, Due to the computational resources, uh, we cannot process all the data. And eventually on the only 500 records of data, we observe that we achieve such a higher performance. And then we have the medicine count, like the medicine 30, medicine 50. So we, we can predict a medicines, a count of medicine, like 30 gr group of medicine, 50 group of medicine, 70 group of medicine. And then we measure the ensemble measures using the mean, mean average, max, min, and using majority voting and so on, the accuracy is given. The blue highlights the best result in contrast, red shows the optimal, second optimal result. Then further, we have the comparative results for ensemble set of prompts with fine tuning. Here we have the fine tuned result I want to zoom it, but I, I, I don't know what. So in this, we have, again, the med medicine count and the accuracy. In this, we use the fine-tuned clinical bird. And the fine-tuned clinical bird algorithm is given in, on the right side of the screen. Further, we uh, perform various experiments with the GPT prompts and the manual prompt. Like first, pic first picture of the figure four is for the 
prediction with the manual prompt set, we can see that the trend, lo uh, trend loss, validation loss, and the test loss is approximately learning a good pattern. But while looking at the GPT pet predictions, GPT designed prompt predictions, we can see that the model is not performing that well where, where is the, with the manual prompt. And then when we combine the prompts, one of them is GPT, one of them is uh, pro manual prompts. We observe, okay, we can see that the combining prompt also perform better than the only giving the GPT prompts because GPT don't have such sense of designing the prompts for the medicine prediction or for healthcare task. So in this, this crafting prompts is a key factor where we need the doctor's, doctor's recommendation or doctor's help to realize what should be the input to the model for getting a better performance. Then in the second task, as seen, as seen in the table number five, comparative tables of uh, different prompt engineering with the different backbones. So in this, we use the initial prompting, initial prediction, we were given a data set and the, we were have a, the label then we use, use the visual prompt prediction, then we perform the text prompt, and then further we combine the visual and text. So here N shows the positive, sorry, N shows the negative and the P shows the positive. So we can see that hardly we receive the same record and like the initial prediction was negative and with the visual prompt, we get the negative and the text, we get the negative. Because in this, we do not fine tune the model. We only use uh, simply a few records and then uh, test it on few images. Further, it can be optimized. And the finding underscore the nonce impact of prompt engineering on the model performance, like the on the visual prompt, we, we are getting some other results. On the text prompts, we are getting some other results. But combining the visual and the text prompts, we are getting better results. And we have some backbones designed like the VGG19, VGG16, and then uh, a simple network prompt engineering CNN. We utilize the CNN architecture, such as giving a, a prompt, highlight a region, highlight a region visual prompt, given that this condition, which is equal to this one. And text prompt we feed is, this is an X-ray image of the chest. And we give this image ID and the these prompts to the model and it visualizes and there is a score on the image like input image with a visual prompt positive score one and the with a negative text score it it says it's a negative and negative score is 0 0.26 and then when we combine it we get a very bad score then further another comparative analysis again another picture, another uh, subject ID. The discussion, our finding, our study concludes that the leveraging pre-trained language models and the prompt engineering proof across, uh, proof effective across diverse healthcare tasks, providing instructive prompts enables language models to extract in a, uh, insights, make accurate predictions and assist clinical decision-making Although we only use two categories, two tasks, but it can be explored for other categories. Our exploration of prompt engineering healthcare highlights the essential uh, potential for revolutionizing the healthcare practices by designing precise prompts for a specific tasks and scenarios. We enhance the interpretability and the reliability of model prediction. Prompt pairs, including positive and the negative aspect, further enhances the model generalization and the performance across diverse tasks. The investigation emphasizes the performance importance of the prompt optimization strategies and context aware prompts for multi-model data analysis and integrating prompt engineering would in also enhance the robustness of the model. The conclusion is prompt engineering offers a promise avenue for advancing healthcare applications uh, utilizing the prompt guiding language models. So far so we don't have a specific prompt guided language models but the research is ongoing and we hopefully uh, we hope like uh, it will evolve and anticipate the further innovation that will reshape the healthcare delivery and assure the new area of precision medicine thank you so much